Hey guys, what's up? This is Cory, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Okay, so I think we're just going to continue on with the adventure here, get some more of those night levels going. Finished off last time with that whack -a zombie and now we're going to get back to the normal stuff here. Okay, so we just got regular cone heads and football zombies. Nothing special there. What does Dave choose? Sunflowers, jalapenos, and three peters. You know, I've been thinking about trying a level, like, only using, like, the TSPPs, to use that term again, um, and just not use, like, any regular artillery kind of shooters. And I want to see how that goes. So I guess I'll, I'll still use tall nuts, or maybe just regular old walnuts. I don't really need the tall nuts. Uh, maybe like spike weed, obviously doom shrooms, ice shrooms. I already got the jalapenos there. Maybe some squash. Oh, and I gotta get the sun shrooms. Uh, let's see, what else could I do here? Well, that's already all filled up. It'd be nice to have the grave busters and maybe the potato mines. I think I'll get rid of the spike weed. I'm not really gonna use that. Yeah, I'll get the potato mines out here and see if I can even complete a level just using these. It'd be kind of interesting to try. So, let's go for it. I'm not going to use any of that crap Dave gave me except the jalapenos. Which, by the way, I don't know about anyone else, but it kind of pisses me off that they call it a jalapeno and then it's red. Because jalapenos are not red, they're very green. So, I'm not really sure what's up with that, but it is what it is. I got the rake going there. I always forget to buy that. Like, it runs out for the three levels that it lasts, and then next thing I know, I've gone six more levels and totally forgot about it. I could have been using it that whole time. It only costs 200. Takes out the first zombie for you for three rounds. I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, so this guy's gonna be a problem. The squash is really... Or no, I'll use the potato mine. It's even cheaper than the squash. And it gets the job done as long as you have time to plant it far enough ahead of the zombie. Meanwhile, it can get all your sun set up and we're on the way to happiness. I realize that's the thing about the music in this game that I just love so much. Like, it's not that it's upbeat, because sometimes it's not. Like, this song that's playing right now, this is not upbeat in any way. But it's just happy. It's just so happy. Like, the music in this game. It's just amazing. Like, you can't play this game and be sad. It's just incredible. It's just, like, it's kind of relaxing, even though it gets intense at some points. It's just, I love this game. It's happy. Okay, we got a conehead coming out here. I might want to do something different for him. Maybe maybe use a squash. The potato mine's not going to recharge in time, is it? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Get him out of here. Problem solved right there. You know what I could have done is instead of using, like, the walnuts, I could have used the imitator so I could have, like, two jalapenos or two cherry bombs. Although the problem I have with the imitator is that it takes them so long. Like, you put it out there, and then it get, takes like a few seconds for it to actually change into that plant. So if you're using something like a cherry bomb, and you put it right in front of a zombie, it's going to eat it before it has a chance to blow up. So that kind of sucks. Spadow! get blown up. Okay, this is probably going to recharge in time for me to use on one of these guys. I guess I'll just I'll just use the squash on him and then go ahead and do this. Now this guy's no, there's a lot of them coming in here. I'm not even sure this strategy is going to work. I might have to put three Peters out there if it Know, if it gets to be too much that too much zombies, too many zombies for me to handle. But I can at least take two of them out with a cherry bomb, and then for this guy, I guess I can just use a squash. Still have a couple things ready here. Now I got my potato mine back, so I can put one out there. It's working so far, but again, we're not even at the first flag. Once that comes in, I'm probably gonna have to use a doom shroom. But that can easily take out an entire wave of zombies, because it covers a 5x5 five five area. So I could plant it here, and it'll take care of all the zombies from this corner to this corner. And it just destroys such a huge area. I love it. So these two guys, I'm not really sure what to do. Um, I guess I can do a jalapeno there, and then a squash for him. Seems to be the only option I had. And then I can put out another potato mine. But now... Now I'm kind of stuck. 
I guess I could always use an ice shroom if I have to, because this guy's getting kind of close. I'm going to do that, see what happens. I probably didn't even need two columns of sun shrooms. I'm not sure why I did that. Not exactly in a position to be spending a huge amount of sun, but, you know, hey, why the hell not? Okay, well, I can use another squash. Yeah, and then I'll save the cherry bomb for later. You leave the doom shroom as a last resort. I don't exactly need to use it yet. But, I mean, I probably could, because there's going to be probably football zombies in this flag wave here coming along. Oh, I never noticed, like, the bass in the background of this song. Okay, so I'm just going to use that and obliterate everyone. See, that's just fantastic. Oh, and of course, now the football guy comes. Well, I can just use a squash. He's no problem. Nothing to worry about. That's the cool thing about this game, is you can just play around with all kinds of different strategies and just different combinations of plants, try and figure out what works well together and what doesn't, and just what's interesting and different, as opposed to doing the same old shit every time. You know, you don't want to have nothing but, like, like, pea shooters, chompers, and walnuts for every single level, or whatever it is. So I could use a jalapeno here, because there's two zombies. Then again, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna save that potato mine so he doesn't get used yet because I can do other stuff with these guys. And that'll be there for next time. I suppose I can just do that and that'll take him out. This is starting to get worrisome. I'm gonna do an ice shroom really quick and then hit this guy with a, with a squash. Give that potato mine some more time to charge, too. That's the good thing. I, have, I guess the potato mine and the ice shroom work pretty well together in this setup I have going on here. I don't want to have to use another doom shroom, but I mean, I will if I have to. So I can get these three guys with a cherry bomb, but now there's this... Oh, I got him, too. I didn't even think I was going to get him. I thought I was going to have to wait for him to hit the potato mine. Speaking of which, I can be putting more of those out. I'm not sure what to do about this guy, though. Oh, there it comes. Squash is ready. Thing charges up reasonably fast. I mean, it seems to be quite a bit faster than like the cherry bomb with the jalapeno, so that's good. Now there's this guy. I suppose I could always stall him with a walnut till something recharges enough. I'll just go ahead and do that. These two guys are about to get taken out by potato mines, so no worries there. And God, I'm not talking about anything but the game. Let's see, what can I say? Oh well, I my mouse. You know, I was having problems with that, and then I had to whoops had to borrow my mom's mouse. And, um, all that was happening in the last couple of videos, like I mentioned. And I was gonna go out today and spend another 20 bucks and buy a new mouse for myself. But my mom decided to just give me hers. So apparently she's just gonna deal with that and I guess only use the trackpad on her laptop. I don't even know, but it's pretty nice. So now I have a nice new mouse that's not gonna fuck up all the time and don't have to worry about that. Now let's see, this group of guys is gonna be a problem. Hopefully that potato mine will take out- oh no, it didn't. Now I gotta go ahead and use that squash. And if only I had a cherry bomb, I need to use this. It's really my only option. Put another one of those out. Hopefully this will give me enough time- oh, not even close. Come on, cherry bomb, charge up faster. <laughs> oh no. This is not good. Okay, well, I think it's gonna go before they get to the sun shrooms, but still. That was too close. Oh god, they unfroze. Okay, quickly, quickly, don't eat them. Well, I guess I have more sun than I need. I have plenty to spare. I don't know why I'm worried about that, but whatever. Okay, let's see here. Um, I guess I can do that for him, but these guys are a serious threat now. I have to do this. I don't really have any other choice. So there we go, they're all dead, but now that was just in time for the next flag to come. And all I have ready is a jalapeno and an ice shroom. Well, I have those two potato mines out too, but I don't even know. Oh, and there's all the grave zombies too, this is a problem. Well, I'm gonna use this here because of the freaking... What's-his-face, the football zombie. I'm gonna do this. And hope that Doom Shroom will just recharge fast enough, because that's really- I don't even- why am I still clicking on the sun? Are you kidding me? Come on, Cory, what are you doing? You don't need it. I just see it on the screen, and I can't not click it. Let's see. 
Okay, that did pretty good. This guy's gonna hit that potato mine. That's gonna get the cone head, but there's still these two guys right here. Maybe I can get them stuck and yeah, there we go. Oh, well, I, the Doom Shroom is ready, so I can just do that and that's level game over. Well, that wasn't too difficult. I didn't lose a single Sun Shroom back there, so that was nice. None too shabby. Alright, on to the next one. Let's see what we got here. Screen door, zombie football. Still just standard stuff. Nothing really too worrisome. Uh, pfft, let's see. I don't know. I'm gonna try using some plants that I don't normally use. Like, I hardly ever use these, the hypno shrooms. I don't even really like them, but I mean, what the hey. Um, I'm definitely gonna still use sun shrooms, not sun flowers. Cactus. Who uses those? I mean, let's bring that out here. Some star fruit. All this just weird shit that I, like, never used because, I don't know, I don't like it or I just don't find it very useful. I don't know why. Uh, it'd be nice to have something for them. I guess I have to have some sort of blockage here. I'll just go for the regular walnuts. I gotta have at least one TSPP. And these guys are completely useless on a level like this. Garlic is just stupid. Um, <laughs> just makes everything harder, really. And what can I do for my last plant? Hmm. I suppose... Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll use the magnet shrooms. That should be pretty good for, like, the screen doors. And then instead of walnuts, I'll get the pumpkins out there. Let's try that setup for a change. Oh, except you know what? Now I don't have anything to do for, like, the first few zombies when I don't have enough sun to put anything out there. I didn't think of that. I should have at least gotten the puff shrooms. What the hell was I thinking? Well, I mean, I might have screwed myself over, but I also might be able to beat this, so let's see what happens. At least have that rake to stall a little bit of time. Should I put out the third one, or should I just wait and gather up enough sun to put out a shooter. No, I should set it down. At least three of these, because they only put out 15 each. But now am I even going to be able to get something in time? See, he's already coming. I have 35. I didn't think about the, the start of the game here when I picked this setup of plants. Oh, no. Come on, 50 sun more. Gosh. Even a full round of sun from all three of these isn't enough for that. There's no way. He's just gonna get straight to the lawnmower. Come on, are you kidding me? Oh, well, I can do this. There we go. I hate having to use one of those right off the bat, but... Oh, see, now I'm just in the same position I was 30 seconds ago. Ugh. And there's all these graves, and I didn't bring any grave... But I just... God, I can't think. I'm trying to do stuff different and original, and instead it just ends up getting me fucked over by just picking all the wrong plants. Jeez. He's just gonna eat right through that sunshroom. There's no nothing I can do to stop him. I guess I'll at least have to... Oh man, I might have to start this level over and get something, something out there I can use. Because right now, I mean, it's just total horse shit. I mean, one more sun and I'll have something, but unless I can get like 10 butters in a row, he's just gonna eat right through it. There's nothing I can do. And there's, here comes the next one already. Come on, just give me some, because if I spend more, it's just gonna take, yeah, okay. You know what, I'm just gonna quit talking and just do it. Just realize I was stupid and re-pick my plants. Okay, so Crazy Dave chooses the same stuff. Okay, so this and these need these. That's where I went wrong. And then I can still have some of this other stuff I don't usually use. I'll get the Grave Buster. I'll still have the Magnet Shrooms. Oh, what else was it? Yeah, these guys, the Cactus. And then... See, these right here are really pissing me off. Okay, I shouldn't complain. I have seven slots that I get to choose just in addition to the three that he picked. I really shouldn't be complaining, but I don't know. There was something, what else did I have that I don't normally use? I was thinking, see, I don't even remember what I was doing just a minute ago. I guess I'll just get the pumpkins and that'll have to be it. I'm, 
Uh, whatever. Let's do it. Let's rock. Come on. Get this party started instead of just talking and being an idiot all the time. Okay, just get these guys out here. Don't have to worry about that first row yet, because there's the rake there. That's how you know that's where the first zombie is going to come out. <laughs> okay. Got this figured out now. This should be a reasonable setup that I can at least do something with. Okay, at least this thing recharges like really fast. That's what I like about these puff shrooms. I mean, you can almost get through a whole night level with nothing but them, just spam them all across. You get that with the imitator too? I mean, come on, you'd be unstoppable. Nice little purple slime balls flying across the entire screen. Oh, it was the star fruit. That was the other thing I wanted to get. Could have done that instead of the stupid magnet shroom. Or something. But hey, whatever. Work with what you got. I mean, sure, it's my own fault that it's what I got, but... You get what I'm saying, at least. I hope. Okay. Get a Grave Buster out there so things can be symmetrical, because I'm just stupid like that. I can't even stop saying that. Gosh. It's already been 16 minutes and I haven't done crap. But I mean, it's fun, right? It's all in good fun. This game is just so happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you might notice me, like, honestly, accidentally just quoting Nintendo Capri Sun, because I've been seriously just watching his videos constantly for so long. Like I said, I watched his Pokemon Emerald, and then I watched... I've been watching his Plants vs. Zombies 2, and then I started going back and watching his Plants vs. Zombies 1 stuff, and he's just a hilarious guy. You should check him out. I put a link to his playthrough in the first episode of this series I've been starting here. So yeah, two of these can easily take out a regular zombie. Coneheads need some extra help from something like this. And let's get this out of here. Then we can start putting up the magnet shrooms with the pumpkins around them. But first, this is kind of a kind of needed. Get this guy out of here. Okay. A little bit more sun, and we'll be able to get that started for when those uh, screen door zombies and the guys with the freaking football helmets come on out. They take so much damage. And this back puff shroom can still hit him while he's eating that pumpkin, so that's good. Too bad the cones aren't metal. That'd be nice. They're still kind of pushovers, though. They're only twice as much HP as a regular zombie. Actually, should have prioritized putting the cactus here, because this guy has the pumpkin to stall him. Now this puff shroom might get eaten. That's okay, I can put out another one right away. Not exactly worried. It's just... I don't like to see my plants die. Oh no, they got him. Pretty good. Okay. Well... I guess we should put another magnet shroom out there, just... Just in case. I don't know if I really need an entire column of those things, but... You know, if you have the cash for it, why not? Let's get some more of these things out of here. They're just in the way, and they really suck when that final wave comes. Isn't that interesting how suck and blow mean basically the same thing? Like, oh man, that sucks, or god, that blows. And I guess they kind of mean the exact same thing in a sexual sense, too, so that's funny. Total opposites that can be used interchangeably. How often do you see that? I guess that's just English being retarded as usual, but you know. Well, since I have the sun for it, I might as well start replacing some of these back puff shrooms with the cacti. Just because they have longer range, I don't know if they necessarily do any more damage, but I mean, 
There's no reason not to, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Could also be putting pumpkins out here to protect the... Even though it's just a lame little puff shroom, just so they don't start eating through. And, uh, get more of this going here. <sighs> Ugh. That was a weird burp. It was, like, really quiet, but I felt it a lot. Yeah, just taking those screen doors. Um, yeah, let's do this. I'm pretty sure these cacti do the same damage as a pea shooter, so... The only really real advantage to them is the fact that they pop the balloon zombies, but other than that, I think they're exactly the same plant. Okay, get another pumpkin out here. Bust up more of these graves, and then I suppose I could start putting some hypno shrooms out. Or I could just wait on that. Although, you know, the magnet shrooms and the hypno shrooms aren't exactly the best combination because, see, the magnet takes his helmet and then he's not going to be any good fighting the other zombies like he would be if I left the helmet on. So I might actually just take these out of here. I don't know. Although that thing takes a while to recharge as it is. So we'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm going to leave him there. So this is going pretty well, and I set up here. In case you haven't figured it out by now, well, I mean, why would you need to figure it out? I've been telling you constantly that I really like things to be all symmetrical and even, and I don't know what it is. I just have, like, a really, like, logical and straightforward brain, and I don't like things to be all scattered around randomly. It just looks ugly to me. So... And plus, you know, each row has the same probability of having each type of zombie. So if you have different amounts of firepower on each row, there's really no reason for that. I mean, I could see with, like, the, the pool levels where you know that the zombies in the pool in those two rows are going to be very different than the zombies in the other four rows. But other than that, there's really no reason to have... to not have everything exactly the same. Oh, shit, they got through the pumpkin? What is going on down there? Are you kidding me? Well, I guess this will give me a chance to... Oh, I was gonna say, try using one of these football guys. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's get rid of this. And put this out. Put one of these back in there, I guess. Just something to do. I suppose I could use some of the stuff Dave, Crazy Dave gave me. Get some of these kernel pulps going. Maybe get some butter on these guys' faces. Although the level's just about over, so there's that to consider. These things charge up nice and fast, though, and I mean, I have the sun for it. Like, holy crap. I love this part in the music when it does that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and turn him around. Because we can. Oh, he got hit with butter right before he was able to do it. Now he's going to be really damaged by the time he... Okay. Holy crap. These screen door guys are nothing... I mean, not they're nothing. They're they're not a... They're a force to be reckoned with is what I'm trying to say here. And I don't have another pumpkin. Oh, crap. And I put it on the wrong... Ah, shit. Okay, well, let's get one of these out. And I guess... Do this. Man, I didn't realize... Here we go. Make them fight each other. Okay. Well, that was a disaster, but... I'd say we managed it pretty well. Just gotta get some more stuff out here. Not like I need more sun at this point. Guess we can do that there, too. Get this guy... Taking some damage. Because the spike weed ignores the screen door. And without that, he has the same amount of HP as a regular zombie, so that's nice. Oh, crap. Let's hope I get the screen door guy. Oh, yeah, the other one's dead. Okay. There we go. Take this guy out, and we're done. Alright, that's the end of the level. And I think that'll about do it for this video, too. So next time, I think I'll change it up again, do something a bit different. Maybe some, like, vase breaker or some shit like that. 
So that'll about do it. Oh, we have Michael Jackson zombie in this one, though. Ah, uh, well, we'll see it later. I'll definitely show that at some point, because those guys are awesome. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Please give the video a like, comment, all that shit, and, you know, God, I can't just, just goodbye.